Okay, so welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a movie reaction. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be reacting to one of the best horror films that come out in 2017. Probably the best modern horror film, I'd say. And that is It 2017. So with It Chapter 2 around the corner, I thought it would be a good idea to jump into this. Here goes the boat. Bless him. I know he's a kid and stuff, but like... You just wouldn't speak to something in the drain, would you? You just, you just wouldn't. Regardless of being young. I love how they made this a lot more brutal than the original as well. This part is creepy. To see the hand extend from the drain. Is that Draco Malfoy wannabe? Budget, budget Draco. Man, how can you bully anyone when you have a when you have a hairstyle like that? Then again, I can't fucking talk, can I? Not gonna lie, when it comes to films and like TV series and stuff, I usually really cringe at like kid actors. A lot of them are really bad, but in this film, they're really good. Man, the soundtrack in this is so creepy. I love it. That's just a creepy picture to have in your room anyway. Why would you have that? Why would anyone have that? I noticed as well, I'm not sure if there's anything, there's anything to this, but the parents are always watching that TV show. This scene here. Oh man, this scene here is so, so weird. Like look, in the background, like that's just so creepy, man. So fucking weird. This, this film proves that you do not need jump scares at all in the film at all. Like, it's just not needed. Like, that is ten times scarier than any jump scare would ever be. They really do a good job making you hate Henry. You hate him more than... I hate him in this one more than I do in the original. Which is funny, because you think you'd hate him more in the original, because he's, like, racist and stuff. Like, full-on racist, which he isn't in this. So you think you'd hate him more in the original, but... It's just always talking shit with his big-ass glasses. Yeah, what if she's just, you know, just chilling in the sewer, yeah. Just sitting there. This is it, this is where young Keanu Reeves gets, uh... Gets battered by Pennywise. It's always so satisfying seeing dickheads like this get what's coming to him. Man, that is so... That is so creepy. Some really good death scenes in this, in this film. That part's so cringy, but I think it's meant to be. I love how she manages to cut her hair, and then like, when you see her with short hair, it's like proper styled and all that. Looks like it's professionally done. That house was done up, it'd be really nice to live in. Just a casual afternoon where your sink talks to you. Don't you hate that when your, your sink just tries to have a conversation with you? Pisses me off. Look at the size of them rocks, man. Any of them hit you in the head, you're gone. It's not just going to be bouncing off and that's it. That would knock you stone cold out. <laughs> One of the best lines. Go blow your dad, you mullet wearing asshole. I love this film because even now, I've seen it multiple times, but even now I'm like looking in the background just to see if I didn't, if I've not caught anything yet. Because so many subtle things are added in the background. It's one of the best things about this film. It makes rewatching so much better. Man, these, these three got some balls going in this house. I love the Easter egg here as well. You see the uh, the original 1990s Pennywise, Tim Curry's one. You just saw what happened to your mate. And then you go and do the exact same thing. You saw what happened when he wanders off. And then you go and wander off as well. There it is to the left. The best Pennywise. I love this Pennywise as well, but I just prefer the 1990s one just because when something's not meant to be creepy, I find it creepier. That's how it is for me anyway. Oh, this part always makes me cringe. I hate seeing broken broken bones in films and TV shows. Oh, prick. I have to stick him on the barrel and shoot him. 
There's a deleted scene here that I just, I really wish I didn't delete. If you haven't seen it, you need to go and watch it. But if you have seen it, you know what I'm talking about, where he's in the car and all his friends are dead and he's like covered in blood. I don't know why they didn't keep that in. It was, it was perfect. Rest in shit, prick. Mike dressed like Rambo. Yeah, the deleted scene there. I don't know why they took it out. You see him in a car, all blood running around his face, and all his friends are dead in the car as well. It's so disturbing. Jeez. Got battered. He's not dead though. I'm surprised how he survives that. I have no idea how he managed to survive that. But yeah, I'm looking forward in the second film to seeing the whole him in a mental institution going back after him. That's going to be cool. Bill has a serious habit of running off in this film. That's all he does. It's taking his sweet time to kill it, isn't he? I love this battle. Bill Skarsgård's such a good actor, man. Love this next part. So badass. See you in 27 years, mate. Man, what a film. Love watching it. Two hours of it flies by. Oh, man, that film is so good. The two hours flies by when you're watching that. I've watched that film God knows how many times and it never gets old. I'm not sure how this video is going to turn out, honestly. I don't think I spoke much throughout that at all. Um, I just get, I get so into it, that's all. That's what I've always thought was hard about reactions. Um, speaking through them, because I get so into it and I end up not speaking. But yeah, I wanted to try something new with this. I wanted to try movie reactions. I'm going to try them on my Patreon as well. But I thought I'll get the first one on YouTube. And I think I'm going to do a few more on YouTube. I'll do some exclusive to Patreon, but I wanted to do it on YouTube too. And I thought, what a better way to do it than It, because It comes out very soon. It's one of my most anticipated films. Probably my most anticipated film of this year. And I cannot wait for it. I thought, what better way to get hyped for that than to react to the first film. It is two hours long, so however this is edited, it's going to be edited down a lot. You know, I'm trying to make sure I don't get hit with any copyright or blocked in countries and any of that shit. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of this and you have any other films to recommend, then definitely leave them in the comments below. Check out my Patreon. Follow me on Twitter. I'm most active on Twitter. You'll get all my updates about the channel and just random stuff I post. So I hope you enjoyed. Leave it a like, share this video around, and as always, cheers for watching.